Nearly one year after one of the most devastating hurricanes on record to hit Florida, many home and business owners may want to ask themselves, am I ready, especially for floods? FEMA wants you to know that this is the first hurricane season with new flood insurance rates. West 2's Greg Fox explains, without that safety net, you could find yourself financially underwater. Let's go. Hurricane Ian's damage is estimated at up to $80 billion. The catastrophic rain event in central Florida left flooded homes in its wake. An estimated $17 billion in uninsured flood losses, according to FEMA, the Federal Emergency Management Agency. Our policies uh, require a 30-day waiting period, uh, and so if you want to be covered for the peak of hurricane season, the time to act is now. Jeff Jackson is deputy administrator for federal insurance for FEMA. He says Ian's devastation emphasizes the importance of home and business owners and renters getting flood insurance. Last September, we saw people being rescued at the dockside condos at Ventura in Orange County because their homes had up to five feet of water. This was all white. Residents there showed us how they were trying to rebuild when six weeks after Ian, Hurricane Nicole caused more damage. Today, from top to bottom, reconstruction is still going on here at this condo complex. FEMA says just one inch of water in your home can cause $25,000 worth of damage. And get this, less than 4% of homes are covered. Nationally, there are 4.7 million policies. In Florida, 1.7 million. FEMA has spent decades investing in high quality mapping data to help inform flood risk and set flood insurance rates. FEMA is alerting the public through PSAs like this, that this is the first full year in which a new system is in place to determine how much you should pay to be covered against flooding. It's the most transparent and fairest pricing we've been able to provide in the history of the program. The median annual cost for flood insurance nationally is just under $800. In Florida, it's $779 per year. Residential coverage is up to $250,000 for the building, $100,000 for contents. Businesses get half a million each for building and contents, and renters can get up to $100,000 coverage for contents only. Again, policies have a 30-day waiting period, and we're right in the middle of hurricane season. Greg Fox, West Two News. It is easy to get started on the application for flood insurance. Contact your insurance agent or go to West.com where we have a direct link to the FEMA site.